Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be trying out the Banish products for one entire month, so stay tuned. I learned about them whenever I was in high school, but I never bought the products because I just saw them too expensive. Yeah, they sent me over their acne starter kit, which includes all of these items they gave me. So let's just, I'm just going to show you what I got. This is a vitamin C cream. So this can help hydrate and nourish the skin and at the same time brighten it since it has vitamin C. And I also got the pumpkin enzyme mask. So this is like a chemical exfoliation. Um, pumpkin has natural AHA, which can really help out uh, even your skin tone. And it also says to even the texture because as you all know, I have acne scars. And then the next jar that I got is the fighter gel. So this is a gel that you can apply on your face, your body, and you leave it on, which can help you kind of like the acne lotion whenever you put something on and it's supposed to diminish the pimple. And you can apply it on active acne and it is just a clear, like a light green. It's reflecting black since the jar is black. Oh, let me show you the rest. And this is the pumpkin enzyme mask. And this one smells like pumpkin and it is pumpkin i got their all mint cleanser this is the cleanser that i will be using to remove my makeup and face and everything next uh, item is a banish oil this can help nourish your skin and keep it hydrated next i got their vitamin c beauty elixir vitamin c to hydrate your face and lastly, the very controversial acne tool. Boom. This is like the micro at home micro needling thing. Um, sealed, you know, with the like plastic. And they give you this little thing so you can just store all of your items in here. Now, I was a little hesitant to accept this product because, first of all, so this one in the skincare community it is really frowned upon on because really because you shouldn't be putting needles in your face at home you should just leave that to professionals and i have done micro needling before and even my esthetician feels i recommend it uh, only because it depends on your skin how deep your scars are if the needles are too long it could penetrate too much and it can even like fracture your skin or damage it even more they really try explaining it everywhere that uh, it's different their needles are shorter as you can see they try explaining like the rolling version and this is sort of like a stamp it says that with the rolling one the bristles are uneven and these press straight forward so yeah, um, I just really wanted to try it out for you guys, just to see if it worked for me, how it looks, how it feels, just so y'all can see if you're interested in buying this product. And I also agreed to this company because like I mentioned, I've heard about it for a very long time and then they are natural, vegan, and cruelty free. They're made in California and I have been following this acne account, my face story for a very long time in my high school years and she is very, very, um, active with this company and i've seen her journey also her scars are getting better so i don't know it's kind of like i trust the way she is she's super real so i just i want to try it for y'all i did want to wait for a while before i do something else because you know i did a chemical peel and it's pretty strong so i don't want to go immediately after do something else since my skin was sensitive but now i do feel comfortable enough like it doesn't burn or anything to move on to something else so this is the banisher thing it explains the instructions how to use it these are gold plated bristles it says gold is bacteria resistant and gold promotes collagen and growth what is that even true or not i don't know bristles are pressed straight down with the new banisher to prevent side effects such as tram track scarring this is a temporary scar that can happen when aggressively using the rolling version. The bristles may roll at a slanted angle onto the skin. Just open it for now. So this is the case and everything. It just... So 
so this is it and these are the bristles you can't even see how small they are the camera doesn't even capture how small they are honestly i'm gonna try to flip it over all right these are the bristles as you can see they are very very small look the size of my fingernails yeah super small there was like a year where these derma rollers were everywhere you can buy them at ross and marshall's and the bristles were so much bigger than these i'll be honest like you can't even see it in the camera but the ones that they would sell at those stores were way bigger you know and kids are buying these you know people little you know like teens who are desperate to just like, get rid of the acne just buying these things but yeah these are way shorter so the first step wash your skin and to do that i'm gonna do the all clear mint cleanser so let's go ahead and do it so really nice and convenient that it has a pump and i believe it's glass so uh watery clear and it does have a mint as well just gonna see if i can film it and it does get foamy so it's good Face is nice and clean. Now it says the next step is to sterilize it each time before you use it. So that means I have to fill the cap up to the fill line with 70% alcohol and leave it there for five minutes. Take it out, leave it two minutes to dry. So let me go ahead and do that right now. Pop some. I think we bought it at HEV. And for some reason, it did mention only 70% because I guess if you use more, it's too strong and it might irritate your skin or something. Just pull it in there. Okay, I think I need some more. I think. Alright, so we're going to leave it there for 5 minutes. So now I have to remove it and let it air dry for 2 minutes. Before I do the banisher, let me just give you a quick rundown on how my skin is looking right now so you can see the difference after. I do have a really, just a lot of new ones. Before I use it, I have to make sure that my hands are clean, so I'm gonna wash them. Finally, the next step is to do it. I'm scared. It just says start with a small area and press down onto skin. How do much do? Hold on, let me dry it up a little bit. I think I'm gonna concentrate only on the areas that I have acne scars, which is my cheeks. Honestly, just my cheeks. So. Okay, let's go. It says you press on it on rotate. Before pressing down again. So you do four to five presses in each area. So again. It might not hurt me because I've done micronasaline before, so this is probably nothing towards me, but you can definitely feel the needle going into the skin, but not in a bad way. I don't know. All right, that is one side of my face and it's red. 
let's just go ahead and move on to the second blend you can see this one is a little bit these this area is the biggest one and i think this is from my previous two pimples i had two right here when i got my chemical peel and yeah it's just got a really bad one so i'll be on the lookout for these during these months try and banish so yeah let's go All right, I finished the areas where I want, which is both of my cheeks, and they are definitely red. And I do feel a little bit of stinging. Yeah, I can tell that maybe some areas I penetrated more than others, probably just because, you know, or the shape of my face, I can't really go in too much, but yeah, that's how it's looking, guys. Now it says, after using the banisher, put a few drops of the banish oil onto the skin and leave it on. This is it. This is the smallest one out of all of the products I received. And it has glycerin, vitamin C, aloe, leaf juice. So it doesn't really say how much, it just says a few drops. So I might just use one whole dropper. Mm, no smell to it. And it just says to apply it on. Some redness and tingling may occur. <laughs> Great. Mm. I feel the tangling, ladies and gentlemen. Avoid wearing makeup. Lastly, you have to clean it again before twisting the cap back on, which means I probably have to sanitize it again with alcohol. So that is pretty much it with the banisher. I'm only going to be using this once a week. So today's Sunday. Next time I use it is next Sunday. But throughout the week, I'll be using the cleanser. Um, I'll try to be using the pumpkin face mask recorded. Uh, the vitamin c cream i don't really understand i don't know i thought it was going to be a whole skincare routine like um but they're just different masks different vitamin c creams so i don't know but yeah that is it for my first uh day using the banisher i am really excited what do you think i hope i can see some differences um, like I said, my first area of concern is my cheeks. Don't really have any acne scars on my forehead or nose, thankfully. But yeah, I'll catch you guys throughout the month. Hey everyone, good morning. This is the following day on how my skin is looking after I did the banisher. Uh, redness really went down quite a bit. But I still see a little bit of redness. Uh, I finished washing my, brushing my teeth and everything. Just want me to show y'all before I um, wash my face with the with the cleanser. And I will probably put on the vitamin C cream. But one thing that they didn't mention um, is to avoid sun exposure. I mean, I'm going based off of the microneedling that I did before. She really recommends to not go directly to the sun to avoid any sun damage darken your skin so i don't know um i'm definitely going to avoid it like maybe put a sun maybe put a hat on if i go outside no i have to message him about that that's pretty weird so yeah that is the first week doing the banisher these these following days i will just be trying out the products and next week i will do again the banisher just got out of the shower, washed my face with the all clear mint cleanser. And now I'm going to be trying out the vitamin C beauty elixir. It just says you spray it on daily to add a burst of vitamin C and hydration. So that's what we're gonna do. I think it's a facial spray. So 
smells refreshing. Um, next day, I don't see any active acne, so that's exciting. And like I mentioned, I'm going to try to avoid direct sunlight. Maybe put a sunscreen after this dries up. But yeah, keep you guys updated tomorrow. Hi guys, it is end of day and I have to wash my face. I have been feeling that my pores are very clogged, like on my nose and just overall, but I don't have any um, whiteheads or anything except this big area. I don't know what happened, maybe, but I can feel it. It's not a whitehead yet from where it exists right now. So I'm gonna just wash my face with the all mint cleanser. Maybe try out the fighter gel, which is a good time. This is supposed to be whenever you have any um, acne, active acne. So I might just dab it on me. I think it was the serum that I put last night. It felt really weird when you don't use the banisher. Like it was just sitting on top of my face. It wasn't absorbing at all. Like it was super weird. So I might just be using that whenever I use the device, but hopefully this can help and remove this big pimple and just any other clogged um, stuff that I have. Cause I feel it, it's gross. Ugh. Okay, so let me wash my face. <laughs> As we mentioned before, it is clear, so I'm just gonna grab a lot so y'all can see. Like a light brownish hue. The instructions say to, you may apply the gel on your face, body, and leave on. So, you can try it over active acne or areas of inflammation, redness, and eczema to relieve it. So, I feel like I just have red nose overall everywhere. So I'm just gonna treat this kind of like a moisturizer and really focus on this area. And I can leave it on, so yeah. Probably don't use this much. I just really wanna try it out the first day. Oh, that's in my lips. Ooh, this smells like BioFreeze. That's exactly how this smells. And you probably just have to use this like a spot treatment, but hey, it says you can use it on your face, body, everywhere. It feels really nice on the skin. <laughs> And I will update you tomorrow. So this is how my skin is looking. I have to admit, <laughs> these past couple of days I have been eating cheese. Um, cream cheese to be exactly. Um, I have I recently got an air fryer and I've been doing jalapeno puppers like crazy. So yeah, I gotta stop that. I need to switch to my alternative dairy cream cheese, but this is how it is as you can see. It really does affect me dairy. It gives me the cystic acne, not exactly whiteheads, but I have one, two, three, probably another one popping up somewhere right here. Yeah, but I gotta stop and then I'm sure they'll go away. Just that's the news. I am excited to go ahead and do it again. And as always, we need to sanitize the device using the recommended amount of alcohol and leave it in here for five minutes, I believe. Yeah, I'm going to start using it. I'm just focusing on my cheek areas because that's the only place where I have the really embedded acne scars. Not on my forehead, not to worry about that. So let's go ahead and do it. And 
then I'm not going to do the lower jaw because that is where I have active acne and it's recommended not to do the banisher on active areas so you do see redness it does sting a little bit mm, one out of ten probably just three two not bad at all and you can definitely see a difference in color now let's move on I did both of my sides and not too bad. I do notice if y'all see it in the camera that some areas are white, but I do hit those spots, but it's white for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's not hitting equally around the face, but this is how it's looking. And I'll finish it off with the vanish oil. I have to sanitize this, hold on. And it doesn't really specify how many drops, but don't do a lot because it doesn't absorb nicely to your skin. It feels achy. So I'm just gonna do three for my entire uh, area. And I'm just gonna pat it. And I will apply some of the um, banish gel for the cystic acne. Hopefully you can help overnight. I promise I won't eat any more cheese. Mm -hmm. Apply it. Sort of dabbing on the areas. And it smells awesome. It has the same scent as the almond cleanser. But that is it. I will show you how my skin looks tomorrow. Good morning, excuse my bangs, they look like a mullet, but I just want to show you how my face is looking the next day. Breakfast kind of went down, um, you still see those little white heads, but they're actually more minimal. I will keep on putting that fighter gel, but yeah, this is the next day. I haven't washed my face yet. <clears throat> I sound a little ronca, but you Yes, yes, that is it. I will keep you updated. Hey guys, so it is Sunday and it is time to use the pumpkin enzyme mask. I only try using it about two to three times a week and today's one of those days. So let's go ahead and try it. As uh, so you can see, this is how my skin is looking uh, from the last update that I told you about from eating cheese. Uh, using the fighter gel, I think really helped. Uh, I can tell that the inflammation has been reduced the redness now it's more of just um brown spots you could say and i have like a new one right here and right there y'all see that i need to stop eating cheese okay i promise i will yeah just that one here this one <laughs> i'm going to be using the pumpkin enzyme mask it is a chemical exfoliator that is supposed to really help um, with congestion. Congestion. Um, these past few days, I have noticed that my pores again they're congested. <sighs> what will live? We'll never know. Will I ever know why? I don't know. But so I have my face wash. Hands are clean. I'm just gonna focus on my cheeks. I don't really have anything on my forehead. Thank goodness. So this is it. I keep it in the fridge to like keep it fresh since pumpkin and stuff you just apply a thin layer on clean dry skin it will tangle uh the first time i used it but a little tangles it's like for example whenever if you guys have ever tried using the cinnamon honey face mask and it burns yeah and i love it i love pumpkin so this is part of my outfit so you just leave it from 15 to 20 minutes yeah, so pumpkin has natural AHA and it's supposed to help brighten and even your skin tone, help with pores and texture. So I'm just massaging it in my areas. And yeah, it's like a really good detox and I definitely need a detox. And you can see some redness already. But 
I'll leave it for 20 minutes and I'll take it off. This is how the face is looking after the pumpkin and Zion mask. Face feels really clean. I'm going to finally apply the fighter gel. So whenever I eat dairy, that's whenever I get hormonal acne. Just a little bit here. And yeah, that is it. We're about to hit the one month mark on the 15th. So I will definitely keep you guys updated. Just a last little close up today hi everyone it is time to use the banisher i have washed my face with the all make cleanser and just still have some pimples due to eating cheese and they're always like along the jawline so we're going to be avoiding those areas whenever I'm using it. But first we have to sterilize it, how it is in the extractions. And here's a quick recap on how my skin is looking, how the scars are. I have to do each area five times, just rotate the little tool as I go. is looking after using the banisher it's nice and red a little swollen i just avoided this area and avoided this area now i need to clean clean the banisher with the alcohol again and apply the banisher oil now just make sure your hands are clean i'll probably use just three drops because it doesn't really dry out and it does sting a little bit but it's normal Um, yeah, and then on my big pimples, I will do the fighter gel. So that is it for today. I will keep you guys posted throughout the weeks whenever I use the pumpkin enzyme mask and the next time I use the banisher. So my mom got COVID and she had to be in quarantine for two weeks and she took up this restroom which is where I had all of my Banish products. So I didn't, I wasn't able to do this for two weeks and I'm picking right up where I left off. So I'm gonna be doing it two more times and, and I'll be done for one whole month doing Banish. So let's go ahead and do this. Because I have acne right here, I'm not gonna touch this area. Or like right here or right there. I'm gonna get some of that fighter gel and just apply it. All right, so that is it. I will keep you posted on my next.
Hi guys, so it has already been more than a month doing the banish kit. I'm gonna insert a clip of day one, how my skin looks. So weird, whenever I started I had this horrible pimple on the side of my eyebrow and it went away and then it came back and I've been applying you know the fighter gel but that puppy is still there I have been trying to put a uh, acne sticker on it but I do have some as you can see right here redness and redness it kind of just looks the same as how I started honestly but yeah do I see a difference in my skin and my scars um one out of ten i'd say a three this is probably going to take more than just one month maybe if you don't have the money to get a microneedling session and of course that is pretty expensive i'm not gonna lie it's not the same results this is more at home it's a much more slower process and yeah um you can still see some of my little box scars. It's those needles that you're picking on your face. I thought it was gonna leave like dark marks or even worse, like more acne scars, but I still see my face. It's looking really well. I love the pumpkin enzyme mask. I'm going to be using that one until I finish it. I think it's just a great natural way. Like I mentioned, it can help with texture, redness, smoothing out the skin, and maybe the banisher I'll get a, maybe I'll get another one. Uh, if you guys want to see in month two, let me know. I will keep on using it because I truly believe it might help me. Like I said, I have been following um, my face story on Instagram since like freshman year of high school. She's just great. She has been using it for years already and you do see a really big difference on her skin. So I'll put her Instagram down below if you want to see her results. I really love them. If you guys are interested in trying out the banner shirt, they were so nice enough to go ahead and give me a discount code. You can also purchase it in the link down below. I'm going to be continuing using it. Hopefully I can give you guys a month two update. But uh, yeah, I think it's the start of something, right? So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.